So there's a brand new Forza Motorsport update has just dropped and it's got some exciting features that to be honest should have been in the game at launch. There's one that I've been speaking about for, well, oh my goodness, about a year now. But I think they're going to be very welcomed by the Forza Motorsport community. We're going to go through all of them in this video. I got a little bit of like a maybe an exclusive as well, you let me know. In fact, I'm going to start with one of those because this is a mid-engine update. So if you like those drivable cars where you get on the throttle and it pushes the car around, you should enjoy this. And one of the cars coming is the 2023 McLaren Artura. It's actually new to Forza Motorsport, so it's not one of these cars they lock behind and then release after. And I am currently using the actual wheel that goes in this car in real life, the Asher McLaren Artura GT4 eSports wheel, I believe is what it's called. Anyway, I'm using it and I'm going to let you know about that in another video. But let's go through and look at what else is coming in this update. So we've got Spectate Mode, Challenge Hub as well, um, which is going to combine, I think, some of the single player and multiplayer. We've got some advancements to the race regulations, AI penalty systems, a lot of stuff about Spectate getting ready for big events as well. So we've got a tie-up with Jordan. Not sure I care too much about that, but let's see. So it rolls out for downloading pretty much now. So if you're watching it, congratulations, you can download it. And uh, there's going to be some full release notes. We'll go and have a look at those as well. So here we can see some fixes, artifacts and tire smoke, not something I've noticed. Uh, photo mode not working correctly, not something I've noticed. Um, upload heaps, GPO upload heaps, not sure what that is about. And default fuel and tire for rivals. I think there's been some discussions that some of the rivals events haven't been like completely BOP'd. And maybe that's going to fix it. They've changed one of the cars. This is really interesting because Gran Turismo 7 at the moment is having a bit of criticism because it's got a Group 1 race which has a load of differently performing cars in it. And you can see here Forza have changed the 935 from GT3 to Modern Factory race cars. So they're keeping a close eye on that. Screen narration, not one for me, but that's good accessibility. And a game crash, not one that I've actually noticed as well. They just need to add more slots for replays, please, Forza. Uh, Forza race regulations, an AI machine learning model for penalty system accuracy. Sounds very impressive. Not sure how impressive it actually is as well. So this is the broadcast league races. I know a lot of people have been shouting about this. I know a lot of um, leagues have basically cancelled running on Forza because the game just didn't support this at launch, which I really don't think was accept uh, acceptable. But now they've enabled spectate mode in private multiplayer. And it's not just replay mode. It's a proper spectate mode. And there's stuff coming here that, to be honest, I don't think even Gran Turismo does. So let's see. We've got a full field dynamic drive li list and lap counter. Okay. We've got a ticker as well. We've got the trap map. We've got driver data. So you can see car telemetry, comparison leader and damage for different drivers. And I think that's something that maybe Gran Turismo ever doesn't really do a great job of. Obviously in the Gran Turismo World Series, they have access to a different like upgraded replay system that for some reason they still haven't given us in the game, apart from that weird bit where you can watch back like a GT World Series race. And uh, they've got the true race start, which should not be a feature, guys. This like this should be absolutely standard that the, re the live feed starts when the race starts, not after. So that's pretty cool. Default spectate camera would like that because I probably want to start in chase and, you know, viewing the full hard. Every time I'm in Gran Turismo 7, I need to get the telemetry up because it doesn't show it um, automatically. Rail cam as well. This gives race spectators controls that our cinematics team uses, like FPS camera control. So I like the sound of that point of interest as well. I'm definitely going to be exploring those in a uh, future video on the channel. Improved control panel, because honestly, the replay system in Forza was so counterintuitive. I don't know what they were thinking when they designed it. Like you have to go through menus to cycle different things and then accept and go back and you can't just do it all in one menu. Kind of mad, but anyway. Minimize switch lag, saving replay after spectate. Please note that previous limitations for replay save length. Come on, let us save more replays. I've got loads of space on the old hard drive. Once you try spectate, we would like to get your input as well. We're especially keen to gather thoughts from tournament organizers and live streamers who are broadcasting community racing leagues on their channels. So as you might know, I ran a community race, not a community race really, I ran a celebrity race with Max Futural from Quadrin and Zerka from Cyberman and Jimmy Broadbent and all these people. And I would have absolutely loved to have this feature, to be honest. So I will get in touch with them and uh, let them know that I'd be keen to run some races. So make sure to subscribe, by the way, 
if you want to be on broadcast spectated races on this channel here's the jordan car to be honest i don't care that much about it but it is a free car so cool great news for jordan i think i wear jordans maybe i'm not sure let me know in the video if i'm wearing jordans race exceptional cars in the mid-engine tour so here we go this is the mid-engine update that is the mclaren artura which i recently saw at the mclaren technology center because i have been doing a lot of stuff in forza with mclaren and logitech and logitech mclaren g challenge not sure if that's the car that we're going to be driving or not mid-engine muscles mid -en you know i like mid-engine cars this is pretty cool uh ferrari f8 tributo as well already in the game mid-engine legends that's the mclaren f1 there mid-engine monsters is that the 918 that's no, a carrera gt mid-engine miracles 720s is that i think oh 720 6, 765 lt coupe okay and what's the reward here oh the reward is the mclaren artura okay so you have to do it to get the artura i might actually do that because i want to drive the artura with the actual artura wheel on forza, forza motorsport because ironically that will be a very sim experience in Forza Motorsport will make lots of people who don't like Forza Motorsport very angry, I'm sure. Spotlight cars as well, temporary 30% discount. What are the spotlight cars? The Tributo, the McLaren F1, the Coro GT, and the Celine. All interesting cars, to be fair. Cars are quite cheap in Forza. And then the Forza VIP, still like, like a zombie still exists. Not even sure why it's that relevant. Don't really feel like a VIP anymore. And here we go, the VIP cars. By the way, I just saw a Jaguar XJ220 engine the other day. All of it a V12 glo a glory. Was it two intercoolers, loads of turbos? Absolutely insane. I think that's the fastest car in the world that came out. Mid-engine race cars in the open tour as well. So let's see what we got here. That's an Audi R8. What have we got? Another McLaren and uh, Hurricane as well. Featured multiplayer. More Lambos should be fun. Endurance series, I want to be getting in on that. With update 12, the Forza GT4 series now cycles weekly with touring cars instead of with the Forza GT2 and GT3. Okay, I've kind of done quite a lot of touring car racing in Forza in a lot of front wheel drive cars, so I'm actually looking forward to drive more mid engine cars. Here's the featured multiplayer events, all of this stuff. Okay, very nice. Weather options now. This is something where it looks very similar to Gran Turismo 7. I've got to be honest. So you can select these in private um, sessions there. That's multiplayer or free play. So I'm quite excited about that. Mid-engine month. Uh, rivals here. What's coming in rivals? Is it a Logitech McLaren GT? Oh, it is. And I've done this combination with Lucas Blakely of McLaren Shadow. So I'll make sure I get a video up of that time trial so you can do as well. I'm not sure what the prize is there. It's a bonus stage. Yeah, for participation, you can win a trip to the McLaren Technology Center. I'll try and get that up as well. And then we've got Race Mobile One there doing their one with Jensen Button. So you can win the suit. I mean, what's better, me with McLaren or Jensen Button with Race Mobile One? You let me know in the comments. And we've got the E Racing Association Alpha 2 Cup. $500 in cash prizes there. Looks very exciting. Here's that Rivals calendar. So VIP Super Veloci, E-Racing at Daytona, that's a fun combination. G-Challenge at Maple Valley in the MP44. And then Race Mobile One at Maple Valley, which is ironic because it's actually called the Mobile One Maple Valley now, I think, officially. Spotlight ones as well. Challenge Hub. So whether you race in career, feature multiplayer or rivals, you're going to get rewards now. So you're not kind of like excluded if you don't do one of them. So these are the challenge ones. So it's like FIFA, isn't it, where you can do them in SBCs or do them in like rivals. You can um, complete all series in the tour or 10 races. So I like that. I'd like Gran Turismo 7 to do a bit more like that as well. Lost at G Challenge, you get the suit. If you do that, definitely do the lap. And weekly challenges as well. More weekly challenges here. Cool, 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 cool. Well, even more and even more. Goodness me. And even more. Right, here we go. Mid end. Oh, that's mid engine month. Okay, cool. I'm going to have a look here. Now, I've, I've spoken about the full changes coming up. There's new tracks coming to Forza and whatnot. So make sure you're subscribed if you want to see that. But I do want to go through the full release notes here. So here we go. Going to click through. Not going to create a ticket. One hour ago, you can see. So new cars coming. Challenge I'll be know about. 
We know all about this, spectate mode we know about, we've got all of that information as well. Weather options, I'm really looking for the bugs here. And we've got all of the spotlight series and whatnot. Featured challenges, weekly challenges we know about. So is there anything, here we go, bug fixes. We know about those ones, track streaming, level of detail, the rivals one. Yeah, so I think that is actually showing that maybe rivals wasn't completely bopped correctly. Quite a lot of multiplayer um, improvements here that weren't necessarily spoken about. And livery editor as well. I know a lot of people always ask about liveries. There we go. UI, driver tar AI as well, cars, accessibility, audio, and Logitech wheel RPM is not working. I will check that out on my G Pro. So let me know what you think about that. I'm going to be on Forza actually. I want to try that out and I want to try True Force on Logitech. I will see you next time.